What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's Propy Jam. Welcome back to chapter four of Uncharted 3. When we left off, we uh, did the flashback, man, to when Drake was young. Uh, and we came back and apparently we're working with Charlie, um, which is cool. Uh, and he pretended to shoot us and I'm guessing they had like fucking like blood squibs or something in there and made them look like they actually got fucking shot. So, uh, we introduced to our bad guy as well, which is Marlo, uh, for this, uh, for this game. And, um, yeah, that was the introduction, man. Uh, I do remember this one a little better than I do for the others, just because it's been a little, it's been a little less time in between me playing this game. So, uh, a lot of this story won't be fresh for me, you won't be seeing, you know, fresh reactions. Um, there, there'll be some parts where I'll, I'll power through a lot of it because I already know. Um, but for stuff like the puzzles and everything, um... There's still some parts to that that right. I won't remember, like so... You'll still get some reactions, man. But they just won't be as genuine. You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> there she is. Alright, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. Well, except for the head, buddy. What's up yeah. your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to... Enjoy yourself a little bit too much for my taste. <laughs> <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> well, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, it's funny. Do you have any trouble? That's right, isn't it, Jason <sighs> Statham? Easy, easy. I'm just going to call him that from now on. He's, he's no, forever sure. in my mind. So, that's which door's like Poppins his Charlie's character oh, is always just going to be the Jason Green Statham one. of this fucking, this fucking series. Ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well... I haven't taken my eyes off it. I know one's going oh, I came prepared this time. That's a that's a rare moment for us. Because really like, if you remember Uncharted Two, don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. They're, they're not messing about. They never are in these games. Anyway, if you remember in Uncharted Two, like the start of Uncharted Two, when Nathan was just like, "We don't need guns. We don't need guns." So it's cool. It's cool to see that uh, this time they actually came fully prepared. We look so awesome. Yeah, Look at this place, fucking lineup. Me, All of us walking in a line to give it like yeah, fucking well, my age, a bird in the hand. like the fucking yeah, Suicide Squad or something, man. Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. All right. Let's go see what's happening. Seems pretty quiet. Oh, you know, there it is—the green door. You think they're still in there? We're not gonna just barge in the front door and find out. Yep, I remember. Well, we can't I remember. I'll find a way in. Check I know how this goes. You three stay here. Me climbing and you guys just sit. Oh, Nathan, break! Uh, you, you guys just chill down there and I climb everything. That's usually how this game fucking goes, man. I know this. I know this. This is not my first rodeo. All right, Nathan, break. All right, here we go. Uh, but some people in the comments, I was seeing some people in the comments saying that that they're, they're not a fan of like me comparing, uh, like listening to me compare this game to Uncharted Two and everything, which I totally agree with. You know, I, I probably shouldn't be comparing as much as I did in the first episode. So I'm gonna try and restrict how much I I'm, I'm comparing Uncharted Three to Uncharted Two. Um. Just for my own sake as well, because, like, as much as I give shit to this game, it was still a fucking good game. Like, this was an incredible game. The set pieces were amazing. It just, I, I don't know, it just... I will criticize it a little bit now. Uh, and just say, it did feel a little bit off. Just because, um... When Uncharted 3 was in development, they were also developing The Last of Us, which I'm gonna play eventually on the channel, so you can look forward to that. Because I've never played a, I've never played The Last of Us, I've never seen any footage of The Last of Us. I've deliberately held off from playing The Last of Us until I could get my hands on it, and I finally got my hands on it. So there will be a Last of Us series that happens on the channel sometime. Um, probably after we do the Uncharted marathon. But um, 
you know, when Uncharted 3 was in development, The Last of Us was in development, and a lot of the uh, the team that made Uncharted 2 went off and played uh, and developed The Last of Us. So you, you didn't have the same people working on it, and I feel like the story got a little bit... Like, it's not that the story's not good, it just didn't feel, you know, as well developed as Uncharted 2, just because you didn't have the same people working on it, who knew the characters inside out and back to front. Hey, check this out. Here we go, yeah, the mechanism. I remember this. I remember the mechanisms. Some kind of mechanism. Yeah, maybe. Four tires, four points of contact. Sully. That would be like really hard to line up if you were a car, though, wouldn't it? Like to be that specific on those four fucking things, you'd have to get that dead right. All right, everybody, on three. Ready? One. All right, here we go. What, Sully? You're not even on it. Oh God, he glitched. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has gotta be it. Wait. There we go. Wait, it's the light. <coughs> Ellie, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. There we go. Again, just elaborate ways of doing this, really. Elaborate well, goddamn cadaver. Elaborate goddamn cadaver. Um. Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Well, look, we're gonna find that out, we're aren't we? Find out. That's the whole point of our we'll quest here, car. is to you find out who we're dealing with. I'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, alright? <laughs> alright. the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. Yep. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> and what what business oh, would that be, Charlie? The, the thievery business? The robbing business? What, what kind of business are we talking about here? All right, I've got a silencer, okay. I don't remember the silencer being on it, but that's good. That means we can actually shoot people without alerting everyone else. Which I'm sure it still will, but, uh... But, uh... Gives us another thing. I remember this. You have to shoot the lock off of this. There you go. I remember this part. Like, I remember... I, I think it's like the first part of, like the first the little bit of the game I remember. The rest of it's a little bit fuzzy for me, but um, this kind of part I remember. So I'm sorry if I don't like, if I'm not, uh, like if my reactions aren't good or anything like that. It's just because I have played this game before, but I did want to do the Uncharted Marathon just because, I don't know, I'm a fan of these games, so... Anytime I get to fucking show off these games and play them again is a good day for me. So, um... But no, I'm sorry if my reactions aren't genuine or, or anything like that. Yep. I know how this works. Alright, here we go. Oh! No, you don't. I just pick him up and threw him through the fucking wall, like literally. Uh, no, you didn't, you piece of shit. Okay, here we go. Tunnel's right below us. At least we're still on the right path. There we go. Ooh, I don't remember how to get down this. I, I remember that we have to go down the poles and everything, that's why they're there, but I don't remember how um, you're meant to get down this. I think you're meant to go all the way to the right, from memory. Although, that memory is not... No, it is the right. Ah, oh, no, 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 what are you doing, Drake? You dumbass. Can I just jump, like... I was gonna say, can I just jump over to that fucking bowl instead of having to do all this? Here we go. Down we go. Careful, it's slippery. Well, no shit, it's fucking dripping wet. Captain Obvious. Oh! Get down. I got it. Close enough. We'll do it, Captain. Whoops. I bumped the button, I'm sorry. I bumped my button.
Oh, good. Well, that could have gone better. All right. That could have gone better. It always can. Passage up there. Here we go. Looks like it's jammed, though. I got it. I got you. Drop it down. Nicely done. Oh, oh, sneaky, sneaky, Drakey, Drakey. All right. Uh, you guys want to give me a boost? Oh, no, I'm, I have to climb this, don't I? All right. Don't know why they couldn't have given you a boost, but what? Yeah, what, whatever. I ain't complaining. It's good. All right. Press that. Or not. Hurry it up there, souls. Why is Sully doing it? Why isn't Cutter doing that? All right, Jerk. Ready? Pull. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yep. Get that down. And almost fall to your we'll death. <laughs> Alright. Here comes Drakey, here comes Drakey, here comes Drake it's and Souls. And there's Charlie, the yeah, there's Charlie. Um, down here? Down here. Where are we headed now? All right, where are we heading? What in the world? Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? <laughs> oh, mate, they are, they are seriously weird. Chapter 5, The London Underground. Oh, I forgot that this was actually Charlie taking place in London. I actually forgot that. Maybe we can get through here. Oh, no, yep, something sucks, so guess who has to go up and get it? Hey, wait. It's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. Right, one of us should climb up there and see if they can do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, they're yeah. gonna do it, man. Guess who? <laughs> It's like Nate's catchphrase for all of these games, man. Crap. Alright, here we go. Let's see what kind of damage we can do here. Let's just jump over here. So, save some time. Here we go. Kick it on down. There you go. That ought to work. You would hope so. Go. Cut it. Yep. Yep. Take your time. Take your time. All right. Oh god, that would be heavy as hell. All right, here we go. Oh no 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 nope nope nope. Drake from above. What the hell is this place? Uh, yep, and jump. Oh, shit, Drake from down. above. Uh oh. Ah. Have they not hear that? By the way, <laughs> just you screaming. Ah. All right, they're good. All right. From here on, no more guns. No more guns. There we go. All right, here we go. God, Nate, you love living it close to the chest. Like, I feel like those things have been there for at least a hundred years. Like, they're gonna fucking break. And Nate's just like, yeah, we're good. We we'll just climb on them, like rock climbing. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hands up. Oh, I don't know. We must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, is this King's Cross? Don't move. Hey, hey, you got us all wrong. No, we're good, man. Oh, man. We're good. Uh, 
Okay. Well done, mate. A boy. All right. Marla's car's there. The How did she get it all the way down here? That's what I want to know. Like Wait, we just had to go through so much shit to get down here. Yeah, yeah, but it's got to be almost 200 years old. All right. Jesus, just when you think things can't get yeah, any weirder. that way. Mm, can we open this door? Is that where we're head? Nope. Okay. Uh, where am I heading? Ah, through the hole in the wall. Of course. Shh, get back. Take them out quietly. Take them out quietly. Easy. Oh, nice. Nicely done, boys. Come on. They must have Nicely done, here. Jason Statham. <laughs> what do we got here? Wow. This stonework. Looks like Tudor. 16th century. How do you... Like... People know, like, little parts of history. Like, people study specific parts of history. Up this way. Nate just seems to have, like, a vast knowledge of everything. <laughs> The same as Sully, man. Hey, over here. What do we got? No, 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 seriously. Who are these people? I don't know. You were quite so unquote working for them. Excuses. He was a loose cannon, and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. Hmm. Four hundred years of searching. You haven't been, <laughs> you haven't been searching for four hundred years. How old are you? Were you are you born when the dinosaurs were around? Ah, yes, the fake. <laughs> what is this? I don't understand. <laughs> it's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? <coughs> I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. Mm. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yep. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. We may have been followed, so what do they do? I don't care how you they they it. leave that little circumference decrypter thing. Did they leave it there? I think they left it there. You, you over there. You go that way. We got this. All right. Uh, lean forward and press X to vault over. This was a cool thing that they introduced for Uncharted 3, which I loved. Was dropping onto people like that. I found that so cool, man. I still do. It's really cool. Because the whole idea of the Uncharted games, for people that don't know... I'm just going to leave that there for a second, but... um, For people that don't know, like when Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 came out, the idea was to push the PS3 system as far as it can go graphics wise and performance wise and then Uncharted 4 it was the exact same thing they're pushing the PS4 to its absolute breaking point for graphics and scenery and uh, speed and um, capabilities and it's such a cool thing for a game developer to be doing um, so that's why these games stand out to so many people as awesome games but anyway let's get back to killing people stealthily with sneaky, sneaky, drakey, drakey. Alright, is there anybody else to kill? No. This we're is good? quite the operation they got going. Alright, we're good. It is some quiet operation. Let's get this thing going. Did they leave? They did leave the decryptor thingy here, didn't they? Can I... Ah, oh, there. I was gonna say, can I actually uh, do something? Like press triangle? What is that? Is that like a Nate, focus. We fucked up spider? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here we go. What do we got here? What are you? 
I what do we have here? Do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. <laughs> Not just any book, wise ass. Belonged to T.E. Lawrence. T.E. E. Lawrence. Lawrence of Arabia. Oh, yes. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. Yeah. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Hmm. They, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what? A lot of rubbish. It was an accident. <laughs> Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? <laughs> and so is Sully. He's like, fucking hurry up and do it before I drop dead, man. All right, let's see. What are we going to get out of this? All right. Okay. Here we go. L. Yep. O. H. D. N. Huh. Okay. Huh. What is it? Uh, it's long hidden. What? <laughs> No shit long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense. Mm -hmm. Your ancestor was a right asshole. Would you shut up? It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's got to be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. All see right. What you can find. Let's see what we got. What the hell are we right, looking press for? Press the thingy, Majig. The Golden Hind. Could it be a model? Some. Painting. It's a deer head. I think it's even here. Right. It's gotta um, be. Well, could be a Buckland Avenue. Deer head. Deer window. head. What? Buckland Avenue is a place you've never been. Deer before. head. Painting. Well, a chair there made from the wood of his Over there. Shed. Maybe it's hidden in there. Yeah, I suppose it could be, but. No. No. Bingo. It's gotta be here. Of course. There it is. There we go. I found it. Where? Um, Up there. The figurehead from Drake's ship. This. There we go. Up there. Over here. Bob's your uncle, man. Here we go. Oh. Up. Oh. Uh oh. It's a trap. Uh oh. They're here, take cover. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh. Yep. Nathan Brake strikes again. <laughs> As he always does. What do we got? We got a map. He went to a rabbit. Right. Let's go. What's going on? It's your boy, Killer Kingster. All right, I've got a lot of bullets. All right, here we go. Let's get the fuck out of here. The Great Escape. go. Here we go. This is going to be a bitch to get out of. Where did you come from? There we go. Boom. Uh, oh god, they brought back the snipers. Alright. Oh, hi Charlotte, how you doing? Alright, here we go. Fuck you, fuck you. Here we go, here we go. Hello? Hello, Drakey here. Alright, now we should just have uh, the laser dudes, right? Oh, nice, right in the face. Nicely done. Got another weapon, got another weapon. 
I'm going around the back of the train. Fuck that. Dun, 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 dun. Here comes Drakey Cause, here comes Drakey Cause, he's gonna fucking die. Why did Sully, Sully, why'd you follow me over here, man? Oh, shit. Oh. Here we go, here we go. Fuck you, dude. No. Alright. Let's see what I can do here. Comes Drakey. All right, we got everybody. We good? All right, here we go. Just gonna hide here. Oh, nice! That was a good headshot. Oh shit, I got one of them. They gone? They gone? Alright, here we go. Pick up all the ammo. Yeah, yeah nice. Did I miss that? I missed that. <laughs> nice, nice. Here we go. Here comes Drakey. He's a coming, coming for you. Ba boom, ba boom. Good. Hey, come on, hurry up. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna die, bitch. I'm gonna die. Now ah, ah, ah. yeah, we're good. We're good. All right. Pick up all my bullets. Oh, me bits and bobs. Let's go kill some fucking assholes. All right. Other way? That way. There we go. Shot one. Ow. Reload the gun. We're doing all right here, boys. No one else wanna wanna tussle with the Drake, the Sully, and the Charlie. All right. Bullets, bullets are important. No, I don't want a Mag Five. Cutter, where the hell are all right. The North bullets are very important in this game. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. I like how he's trying. <laughs> he did that so like elegantly and like showing off. He's like, "Look, I have a gun." Oh, nice. Who's next? Nice one, Charlie. Good on you. Here we go. Let's get some more bullets. Bullets, bullets, bullets. Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Didn't even see him. Alright. Now we're good. Here we go. Hey. Peace off, man. Peace off. Hey, mate. Shooting is not nice. I say as I'm shooting him. Uh oh. Boom, uh, boom, boom. How am I not hitting him? I felt like all of my shots were in line with that. Maybe they weren't. I don't fucking know. 20 headshots! Fuck yeah, man. Alright, here we go. 
Drake, Sully, and Charlie coming at you. Alright, here we go. Keep it on running, keep on running, keep on running. Keep it going. I'll hold the uh, other guys off. Got it. Nice, nice. But, it's back locked. Up, back up. Go. Come on, come go, on. go, 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 go. But this guy's just running straight at me. He has no concept. He's just like, oh, where, where, where is this guy? Alright, let's go. Let's go. Uh. Nice. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, thank you. Save my save my ass again. Just like Uncharted 2. She seems to have a good trick for, for saving my ass. Seems to be her forte. Really? That guy's puffed out? After like so the guy says, well, ten seconds of fucking running? Touches. Now I gotta catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Alright. To a job? Well done. So apparently this is 22 chapters, this game. So it's a little shorter than Uncharted 2 was, but um, well, the map proves it. it should be good. We should be able to smash through it pretty quick and get onto Uncharted 4, which I'm super excited to be playing. Right. Like, super excited. See this, Mark? This is John D's signature. John D. John D. John D. One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody okay. That. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician. Cool, man. Cool. Way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously, into the All right. A really creepy dog. Yeah, see, he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. With the 007 boy go. <laughs> that's how he signed. That's how he signed them. So it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia. Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great. Okay. What for? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T. What's Lawrence in Arabia goes. that you'd be able See, to do? Before it. Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia. Great film. Archaeologist. <laughs> he keeps See, interrupting him. He's just like, mm. obsessed with history. Everything to Perfect do with the Crusades. And he traveled all over. Cut, cut off. The fucking. <laughs> it's all in here. Right. The film you critic. Me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. Yeah, yeah, calm See, down. After the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. The Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. All right. Oh, city of immeasurable wealth. Destroyed okay. by God for its arrogance. Swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubel Kali Desert. The Rubel Kali right. Desert. Here. <laughs> All right. I like the immeasurable well. I remember seeing like press, this is what like press interviews with Nolan North and uh, Emily Rose for this game, and they actually so took them to the wait, fucking real life Rube Al Khali Desert, where the game was like fucking based on. I mean, it looks like he went to. Oh god, man! It looks so cool. Even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What was that? No. Oh, don't be, don't be, Mr. Smart. Nobody likes to smile us, okay? Unless it's me. Things got more than a little dicey. <laughs> yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We, we have all the have clues. Both. And Marlowe has nothing. Exactly. Small problem. The Ruble Kali Desert, six hundred miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just, it. Just hold on. You see That's okay. We, we can narrow it yeah. down. Looks like Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Good on you, Sully. They Sully knows his shit, man. Lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One. One in Syria. The other. In France. In France. No, you two are going to Syria. <laughs> Look, we'll Just crush a dream straight away. No. <laughs> well, no more. How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, only 300 we'll miles. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. Exactly, yeah. What we usually do. What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Here we go. France. 
Eastern France. End of the line, I guess. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. All right, shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Oh, the chateau. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. All right. Not too far. Not too far. Chapter With six. You, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. The chateau. Lost in Peru. Now, from my memory, this is a really big chapter, so I'm gonna leave this episode here. I'm sure. I'm sorry that it's a little bit shorter today, but um. The next episode will be pretty long because of the chateau and everything. But chapter six, man, there's only 22 chapters in this game. So, you know, I think two to three chapters a game is pretty good. So we did chapter four and five and we're up to chapter six. So I think that's a good, good stopping point for today. Um, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social media in the description box. And as always, there's a link to the Poppy J merch store down below. And I just want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons over on Patreon for making this episode of Uncharted 3 possible. Thank you so much. And I also want to say that this episode was sponsored by Razor. Uh, Razor have a deal going with, with our channel and our community at the moment. So click that link in the description box for Razor. Sign up to their mailing list and you guys get $15 off of anything that you purchase. It's a great deal. Make sure you do it while it's there. But thank you guys, I hope you guys are still enjoying the Uncharted Marathon on the channel. I'm still having a fucking ton of fun doing this, and I can't wait to get through Uncharted 3, and then get to the two new games, which I'm super pumped for, but I'm still pumped for Uncharted 3 as well. So thank you guys, and until next time, I'm YouTube's Propy JN. Peace out. So let me breathe.